Since last fall, we've been following step by step the amazing transformation of this parish church into a new co-cathedral for Brooklyn. It started with a vision of Bishop DiMarzio and Monsignor Harrington. And the restoration of the church uh, for me is kind of a symbolic restoration of the life of faith that's taking place in the parish as well. And so as the church is kind of coming alive again and, and looking more and more beautiful each day, the congregation is growing and becoming more vibrant. And so uh, it's not simply that a building is being restored, uh, but it's really the living stones, which are the people who are here, uh, the number of people who are here, the diversity of people who are here, uh, and the life of faith. That's what's most exciting for me. For several months, the pews stayed in the basement while extensive scaffolding created a whole new floor near the ceiling. This was known as the dance floor. This was what the ceiling looked like when I climbed up on the dance floor in October. The creativity and craftsmanship of evergreen architectural arts were brought to bear in elevating St. Joseph's to a cathedral. The project is to put back the finishes like the plaster um, and the paint because they're quite damaged and we need to sort of restore that. And then the other part um, was to, is to elevate it to the level of um, a cathedral, so that meant adding a lot of new decoration. So we have 21 figurative murals in the works right now for St. Joseph's, and then, let's see, probably a hundred or more um, decorative or non-figurative murals in the works. We've seen the cathedral fill up with striking images, merging Catholic tradition with the diverse cultural heritage of Brooklyn. The Marian murals over the side aisles were created in collaboration with the ethnic apostolates. They are uh, put in some mirrors of our, the Blessed Mothers of different uh, countries, you know, Mexico, Our Lady of Guadalupe, Ireland, Our Lady of Nuck, uh, Italy, Pompeii. So I think this is very, very important for all the, the groups who live here, all the nationalities, to, to take this like a shrine to come, to celebrate, to visit. The turns of the fun. In January, Bishop DiMarzio made the 70-foot climb up to the top of the scaffolding to get a look at the mural of the American saints at the back of the cathedral. I think really the American saints, the way it's set up there, we, we have uh, also servant of God, Monsignor Quinn, We're anticipating someday his beatification, perhaps canonization. So it's really a wonderful thing. At the Brooklyn Bridge, you got the symbol from Queens, the... Uh, from the Old World's Fair, so it, uh, it balances things off very nicely. The figures on this mural who don't have halos are not saints yet, but this is expected to change over time. Presumably someone will have to paint a, a halo. Long, one long ladder with a rope on the end. Uh, yeah, somebody will have to come back. If somebody requires a halo later, you know, that'll be part of the church's history, and then somebody will discover that that was put on later in another generation when they're restoring it. Workers from around the diocese and beyond took part in the renovation. Well, we are working together. Uh, we are working uh, on laborers, plasters, painters, uh, lathers, carpenters, a lot of trades working and together. It makes me very, very proud of all the, I can call the, the partners, the co-workers. The Perigallo Pipe Organ Company of New Jersey brought three generations of skill to the task of restoring and rebuilding the cathedral's organ. So we have a hydraulic lift bringing the material up from the floor up to the balcony here. So all of those parts now are being installed in the organ chambers. And finally, the cathedral was fitted with cameras and technology to televise our masses. This is gonna be our production and control room uh, for the broadcasting studio. The evangelization is to bring the word and the message of God to people that can't make it physically to the church. And now we're expanding ourselves to the new co-cathedral of St. Joseph. And this is the results of all our efforts. This historic gathering of Brooklyn's faithful will be the first live broadcast from our new co-cathedral. Reporting from Currents, I'm Conrad Aderer.